What's going on everybody, my name is Chucky Man and welcome back to another Call of Duty Zombies video. So, in today's video, I kinda want to discuss a wee bit about how I want DLC 4 to start and how I want it to end, as in like the cutscenes and how it's all gonna tie in with the story. So, I'm gonna begin here with how I want DLC 4 to start. So, this is a bit different from what you might have heard other people say. I've seen people saying they want to start in the house, or they want to start coming through a different dimension, stuff like that. What I want to see is I want to see our original four characters on the moon just after Richthofen took over Samantha's body or took over her soul or whatever in the MPD and blew up the earth. I want to see them there and I, as you may know from one of my other videos, I'm a believer that these guys could still be alive and they could still be going about doing their own thing trying to stop the other characters. And like as we know from the comic book that they're going to be releasing in October, we know that the transit crew are somehow still alive and they're going to be trying to stop Richthofen. And who says that these guys can't be still alive? It'd be quite interesting. So maybe they... I'm not going to go through the whole thing like I did in the other video, but maybe they went for another dimension and they just went somewhere and tried to stop her, Richthofen, tried to stop Maxis, whomever they were trying to stop. And maybe that's how we're going to see DLC 4 start. Maybe the cutscene's going to be all of them their reactions to the moon blowing up and them going, oh my god, what do we do now? And then, like, we just see them going through dimensions and we see them doing their own thing. And it would just be a nice callback to that map and it would show us that they're stronger than we thought they were and they'll be able to go and do their own thing, that kind of stuff. And we already know they've got all the kind of, like, animations and stuff already for these characters and they got voice actors in for them to do all that. And it would just be a waste to have all this stuff lying around if they weren't going to use it. So, that, you know, maybe they'll bring back all these characters. It'd be quite interesting to see them do that. So, that's how I want DLC 4 to start. Now, moving on to how I want DLC 4 to end. This is a much bigger thing that I want to end like. And what I'm thinking is I want a war, first of all, between the Keepers and the Apothecans. That's kind of something that we could just say, yeah, that's going to happen anyway. Just maybe in the background, maybe it's just going to happen during the map. Maybe the map's going to be based around the war. Who knows? But that's kind of a given. We want that to happen. And I also want to see all the dimensions finally bleed together completely to create one massive dimension again, or one massive universe. And I want to see loads and loads of stuff blending together from all these universes. Like, I want to look off into the distance and see a panzer fighting Brutus. Or... I want to go and see the transit bus just lying in the distance, or maybe a couple of dead denizens, I don't know, just stuff like that, and maybe all these bosses coming back, loads of different guns coming back from different games, just the whole lot of it blending together and showing how it's all connected in one big way. And like, I also want to have, at the end of the DLC 4 easter egg, I want to, this isn't necessarily the cutscene or anything, there's no story. This is kind of just a wee wish list I've got for DLC 4. This will, I'll make a video on that another time. This is on my wish list. I want, after the boss fight, to be able to go into a room and it's filled with every single wonder weapon from every single zombies map and you'll be able to like pick whichever one you want. So, say you had Mule Kick, so you could take three different wonder weapons. You go over, you pick up the Apothecan Servant, or you pick up the Blundergat and the Winter's Howl Thunder Gun. Just, you can have a mix of stuff, and they're all upgraded, all fully upgraded. That's where the pack-punched Apothecan Servant comes in. We have the Vitrolic Wivering, which is the pack-punched Acid Gat. We've just got loads of this stuff, and you can take it, and you can just wreck. And you obviously get all the perks in the game for completing the Easter egg. And they have to do something like this, because it's the end of the zombie's story. And they have to end of a bang. They have to do something completely massive like this. And... I think that's exactly what they're going to do. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to see what you guys thought and I wanted to share my opinion with y'all. I want to see what you guys think of this and how you want DLC 4 to start and end, what you want to see in the map, all these different things. If what you want to see returning, what new things you want to see introduced, if you want the staffs back. I've seen lots of people saying stuff like that, like the original staffs as opposed to the copies which we had in Origins. Just tell me everything you want out of DLC 4. I'm very interested to know. But for now, I have been Chucky Man. Thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, 
favourite. Do what you do. Just do anything. <laughs> don't dislike, though. That'd be mean. Please don't. And <laughs> thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.